Welcome back to mini tutorials for Adobe InDesign. In this tutorial we'll take a look at paragraph styles. We'll make a paragraph style, save a paragraph style, and then also use quick apply styles for paragraphs. Uh, these videos are available in HD so uh, we do recommend viewing them at full screen if you want to see some of the details. I know YouTube can be a little tricky sometimes uh, seeing everything that's there. We'll do the best we can for you. There is a book for this series, which is available on Amazon.com. We're going to start with Paragraph Styles by opening up the Paragraph Styles panel. Again, all the panels are located under Window. Uh, in older versions of InDesign, uh, the Paragraph Styles are under Type and Tables. In newer versions of InDesign, uh, Paragraph Styles are going to be under the Styles tab. That's where I'm going to find it here. We'll open up Paragraph Styles. Um, I'm going to bring this over to the left here. Um, one thing I will tell you, InDesign is not always really good at picking up where paragraph breaks are. So you want to make sure that your text is very clear as far as where the paragraph breaks are. In fact, I'm going to put an extra line in here right now uh, just as we're demoing so you can kind of see things a little more clearly. Uh, when I'm ready to set up a paragraph style, uh, I'm going to highlight a paragraph here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the new button in my paragraph styles and that's going to create a paragraph style right here I'm going to open this up. Um, one thing I will tell you about InDesign is that paragraph styles have some dependencies on character styles so if you're creating a paragraph style it's often helpful to have your character styles created first. Uh, there's some internal dependencies it makes the workflow go a little more smoothly. You can come back and change that later if you need to um, but that does make life a little bit easier. Um, over here on the left we have some of the major options uh, for paragraph styles. So for example, uh, I'm going to come down to indents and spacing. Uh, I can change the alignment for that paragraph. So I'll make this one, for example, fully justified. Uh, I'm going to ask it to balance ragged lines on that. And I'm going to put a little first line indent on it. So over here I'm going to take that and I'm just going to increase the indent on that for the first line. Um, I can come down a little further, do things for example advanced hyphenation. Um, so if I want to get, limit how the hyphenation works I can put that in there. I can also tell it not to hyphenate. I'm going to think I'm going to do that for this one. Also I'll turn hyphenation off on that. A lot of options in here. Um, you can change some of the options that are here. So for example if you need to change the character color you can do that with paragraph styles. Um, paragraph styles become very important when you start doing things like tables of content. Uh, tables of contents have dependencies on paragraph styles. So generally when you're working with InDesign, create your character styles first, create your paragraph styles second, and then create some of the advanced styles like tables of contents last. So I'm going to hit OK with that. It's going to apply that information to this particular paragraph. So we're now fully justified. I have a little indent right there. Uh, I can come down, select another paragraph, and then I can uh, click on that. Now, Paragraph Style 1 is not a very informative name, so I'm going to open that up again, and let's give it another name. So I'm going to call this Basic Body Paragraph with Indent. You may have a better name than I have. And we'll say OK to that. Let's create one more here. So I'm going to come down to this one right here. I'm going to click on my New button, like that. I'm going to open this up. Um, there are some special options in here. So for example, drop caps are located in paragraph styles. And we cover that in detail in another video. But if I want to add a drop cap, it's fairly easy to do. I can come in here. I can say how many lines I want that cap to be on. Uh, I can say how much I want specific characters. I'm going to stay with one character. And then I can give it a character style. So for example, if I'm going to come and pull my hobo style for the drop cap. Um, let's give this paragraph style a name. So I'm going to call this drop cap paragraph style. Like that. Let me give it a number. And then say OK. And then what it's done is it's put that drop cap at the beginning of the paragraph. Just like that. Okay. And then again, if I want to apply that paragraph style to another paragraph, I can come in here, click on that, and apply that. Now, if I have a style on a paragraph, I want to remove that style, I can highlight that and then click on the basic paragraph style. 
and that's going to remove that styling information that we put there. Um, just like with character styles, uh, you can reach paragraph styles through the quick apply. So if you don't happen to have your paragraph styles panel open, you want to apply a paragraph style. I'm going to highlight the paragraph right here. I'm going to click on my styles right there, and we'll bring that over. And then you notice I have character styles at the first, and then right below the character styles, we have those two paragraph styles that we just created. So I can come in and click on that. It's going to add that paragraph style to that paragraph and get things working for you. So just one last reminder, paragraph styles are under Window. They're a panel. Uh, in older versions of InDesign, they're under Type and Tables. In more recent versions, they're under Styles. In the next video, we're going to go into more details about making a drop cap paragraph style. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the Type on a Path tool, and we're going to take a look at some of the options for the Type on the Path tool.